Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your friendly neighborhood farmer Raznak. We are back on Beaver Creek for our Let's Play. And I was just out exploring, to be honest with you. I was out looking at the map and I saw, I was like, there's a little dot way up here. And I was like, I want to see what that is. And that's what this is. Nice big tower. I don't know what it's, what it's for. I bet you there's some top secret military base underneath this mountain up here on Beaver Creek. I bet you that's what it is. Could be wrong. Yeah, we're just, we were out exploring, driving around with the cloths. Wasting a little bit of time. Need to get to work, but I just want to waste some time. Let's go over here and see. See what may be hiding over here. There's a little, like, flat area. This might be a good place for, like, a uh, solar, like a solar power station or some windmills yeah it's kind of nothing up here on top of this mountain but if I'm just gonna buy this property just it's 1.6 million dollars just to put a windmill on it yeah no not gonna happen all right we got to find the fastest way down this mountain this is gonna happen oh great who needs roads? Let's go in cab view so you can panic with me. Testing the power of the class. Come on. Okay. Okay. Don't hit a tree. Don't hit a tree. Not that it's going to like ruin anything. But all right. See, that's how you get down mountains, folks, on Beaver Creek. Just go driving down them. So we need to get down here to the dock because I need to buy stuff to make hay because we are all out of feed for the sheep. So we need um, we need a mower, we need a baler, probably need a windrower. I would say yeah. Today we'll just get a mower and a windrower. I think I can. I might be able. To, I don't know. We'll see. I was driving by here the other day and I didn't notice this. This is new. This is a full that this changes with the seasons. The swamp does. This stuff grows. I was like, this is so cool. But during the winter, I don't I don't remember this being here. This like uh I don't know what you would call this. What kind of crop or not crop, but what kind of plant grows in the water like that. I'd say like cattails, but those aren't cattails. I don't know. A lot going on here on this map. Things change. Textures change as the seasons progress, and I love it. Love this map. Huh. Now, what's going on up here? So if you caught wind of it on the thumbnail, there's some construction going on down here at the port. Hmm. Wonder what would be coming in here. Some nice stuff. That's a nice cat dozer they got there. Somebody's doing some work here. Guess you'll have to stay tuned to find out what happens down here. In the meantime, we're going to mow some grass. That's what we're doing today. Oh, I, I got wood down here I need to sell too. I took a whole load down. I just haven't sold it yet. So much stuff I need to do. Now, I got a letter from the, the port saying, telling me to quit put the dead trees in with the logs. So, all of the dead trees have been going to the wood chipper. So, I've only been putting the good trees in here. Dead trees. Is there any, are there any dead trees down here? See any from here? See one way over there in the distance. Right there! But we've been putting those in the wood chipper because the port doesn't want dead trees and we don't want to make the port angry. All right, let's sell this load of wood. Another $153,000. And let's look at mowers. Now, we have taken into consideration that our tractor is only 140 horsepower, and I'm not ready to buy a new tractor yet. I like this little 140 horse cloth. So, the, these bad boys are out of, out of the question. Not going to happen. 160. I really think what I'm going to do is just this thing right here. I like this good mower. It's a great mower. And for the, just the little field that we're going to be mowing, 
Now for the big grass field, I have other plans, but today we're just mowing the little field. So, tell you what, let's just buy this. Buy that. And I need a wind rower. What's this one? This is that little six meter. Oh, this thing is so cool. I just haven't been able to. I haven't had an opportunity to use it. The Merge Max. I want to go ahead and get it. Because we're going to be doing a lot of grass work. I just want to get this potinger. It's this little potinger. Yeah, let's just go with that today. That's what we'll go with. Because we're just going to mow. And then eventually we'll windrow and bail, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get it all done in this episode. And you ask, how are you going to get this home, Raz? Well, I'll do this make this big, long, awkward <laughs> thing here. We'll grab this. Make sure it works. I haven't tested this at all. This mod. It just seems awfully big to only be six meters. Doesn't it? Doesn't it seem awfully big? This guy right here is 9.3. It's about the same size. I don't know if I like that. Hmm. It's I don't know. It's gonna be awkward. I'm gonna sell it. I don't like it. Don't items. I don't like it. Don't lock it at all. All right, let's try this again. We're just gonna go with the handy dandy coon here. I mean, it's it's the same, pretty much the same length as the other one. One thing I don't like is there's no hose connections. Look at, come on, giants, get with it, because you know these aren't, wings are hydraulic, not PTO driven. Leave it to giants to mess things up. Alright. We're going to drive back to the farm. And when we get back, start doing some mowing. See you back at the farm. We are back on the main farm. And I was going to show you real quick. Uh, our field has come in. It is... Uh, just germinated, but all that grass we planted, nothing's really sprouted yet. And like I said, I finished clearing all of these trees. Now, I cut, I'd say about 70% of them and sold them. The rest of them, I, uh, I used that Trex from Black Sheep Modding to grind them up. I like it. Also, uh, I planted some extra trees just for a little color. See a couple birch trees in there. This is the mud hole down here. There's a couple of these on the map, and they actually you actually do like if you bring your tractor in here, you do sink down in. Now there's no mud animation, but you do sink down in these. Kind of a little swampy area down here in the bottom. There's the main farm over there. So we have all this. I'm gonna have to plow in, and that's gonna be this is gonna all be grass too. And we're gonna have. I got some stuff I got planned for the sheep operations. We're going to be doing some bales, but you know, sheep like variety, so it's not just going to be baled hay. We're going to have some of the fine, fine chopped hay too. So we're going to have to have to do some hay chopping. Sheep are doing well here. I really, really like how the farms turned out. I'm super happy with it. Um, I said I've added some trees here. There's some buildings. Some storage for the bales. More, more, more. Sheeps are doing well. 
Oh, I put like a, I put some decorations in, um, like a little walking path from the house over here to the farm. Thought that was a nice touch. Added some trees here. Just some different things. I'm trying to make things nice. Right, let's drop our wind rower right here for now. I think it'll fit under there. Hope that fits under that shed. God, I would hate if it wouldn't. Alright. Let's drop that. Let's grab our weight. We're gonna get to mowing. I, I really... this It's not 100% ready to cut for optimal yield, but we're out of hay, so... I really need to get cutting. Need to get to it. Let's see our pile of wool there. Sheep haven't been producing because it's summer, so. Alright, let's. I don't want to get too close to the buildings because then it just makes life difficult, so. Now, the grass is already semi dry. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Oh. If you look, um. Crop moisture, I think that's what this is, is 13%. So, we're going to go ahead and cut it. And also, the weather is real favorable because we have all day today. Saturday is kind of even for um, drying of hay in the morning, but then picks up in the afternoon. But it's going to rain Saturday evening. So, we've got a couple days that we can leave this out and let it dry. And I'm hoping. By then, we are uh, we're good to go. Now, if you haven't used this mower, it's a great mower. It's pretty quick. See, 13 miles an hour. It's like four and a half meters. 4.3 meters. Now I'll miss spots mowing this way. But hey. Gotta be real, people. So I don't I don't know if GPS really likes this. Here we can try. Why aren't you letting me hang on one second? Why are you being ornery? It's the only thing I don't like is you have to fold it up to drop it. I wish you could just drop it sideways. Why isn't toggle control? Maybe it, okay. I guess I had turned it off. All right. So let's kick this back out. I, again, I don't know if the offset will work with this. Might as well try, right? That's what we're here for. We're here to learn and to try. Okay. Yeah, it may work. Give it a shot. Find out what happens. Huh. Okay. That's what I thought would happen. It, it's it's going to be real, real touchy. So I'm probably better off just freehand mowing it. It's just going to be real, real, real finicky. I think it will. Oh, all this here on the side. Curious to see how many bales we get out of this. Alright. Now, cut this off for just a second. We're going to need a baler. I don't want to drive to the shop and get one. So we'll just do that. And I haven't looked at... I know there's... Isn't there cost balers? Yeah. This one do that's square rounds. That's a round, right? Yeah, and we can wrap it. I don't want to wrap it though. I guess, do I have to wrap it? Can I turn the wrapper on and off? That's going to be the question. I 
I really don't want. Hey. There's really no reason to wrap it. I'm gonna wrap. So well, I don't even I don't wanna wrap the it's just the squares, right? I wanna use the cloth baler, but I don't I just I just need rounds. I don't need eh, there's no point in buying the wrapper either. Eh. Maybe we'll do that next episode. Maybe I can find a cool mod. Cause we don't we just don't need a wrapper. There's no reason to wrap it. Unless we get into selling silage. Which it may it may be beneficial to do that because Um With all this grass we can sell silage bales. Make money that way. Didn't think about that. have plenty of grass because hay all I can wrap it I can sell hay bales seasons pretty sure you can sell hay bales I don't think it lists a price but I'm pretty sure because like if you go here the port farm sales there, there's no price listed but I'm pretty sure Yeah, you can sell hay. Only in bale form. I don't know. I'll look. I might I might, I might just buy that. I want to use the Claus DLC, though. So, you know what? I've talked... Thank you. You've talked me into it, viewers. I really appreciate it. Talked me into it. We're going to buy it. Foil color, I don't care. That green, purple. Let's do black. Why not? Let's do black. I believe. I mean, the wheels don't really do much. Let's go with Michelin's just because I like it. Alright. There we go. It's bought. Paid an extra $2,000 to get it delivered. There it is. In all of its beauty, sitting over there, just looking at us. I hope everybody's been doing well. I'm doing great. Everything's been doing... I had a great, great Thanksgiving. Yeah. Where are my manners? I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you're here in the States, Thanksgiving was uh, last Thursday. Other parts, I know uh, I have some Canadian friends. I know they celebrate a Thanksgiving-ish kind of holiday. Um... But I think that's in October they do theirs, where we do ours in November. Can't quite remember. Yeah, pretty much we just eat a lot and then go spend money. <laughs> I ate way too much. Way too much. I definitely added to my roundish shape this, this, uh, this Thanksgiving. Food was great, though. Time with family was great. I didn't get a whole lot of content made because, well, I was hanging out with family and friends. Just haven't had the time. I've been working on this, um, and all on it. It took me, I think I have 10 hours. I'm pretty sure I have 10 hours on the Komatsu. The, the um, tree harvester. So if that tells you how long I've been cutting trees, 10 real hours. So it took quite a bit of playtime to get that area cleared off over there. And then the hauling of the trees and the grinding of the stumps. Oh, it just took some time. That ate up a bunch of time. But I wanted to get it done. That way we would have a nice clear area. Uh, as for logging in large amounts, I think I'm done for a little while. Um, plans going forward is I'm going to span expand the sheep operation here get all that good and set plenty of grass working equipment I may put a hay dryer in I haven't decided yet because like I said I may do may do bales and then we may also put in a hay dryer just because we can and the mod exists and then uh, I need to expand I'm gonna buy a truck and a trailer I want to do that so that we have um truck and trailer to haul 
lumber with. Something bigger. That way we don't have to use our poor Chevy pickup truck and overload it. Not quite sure what I want yet. Might stick with something in the Ford LTL pack that I had. Or I like the Warrior Plus Plus. In fact, I have it installed. Let me show you. Trucks. Here's a dozer I found. I'll put the link in the description for you guys for this if you really want to. Tell you what, I'll just jump down there and show it to you. Uh, as I, had, I shared some screenshots and some people were asking, so I'll just jump in there and show it to you. So we got the Caterpillar Bulldozer D82, D8T. Um, as for mod, the exterior details are kind of old, not kind of low res. You can see, fairly blurry. Um, electric hydraulics, but hey, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Lights work. Yep, front lights, and then rear lights when only when you're backing up. Uh, blinker or the beacon works. There. Depending on what angle you look at, look at it, the backlights flash a little. But there's your beacon. Uh, let's take a look in cab. The dash does light up. You can see there. And then it's animated, so you can see the kilometers per hour and all that stuff. But if you look at the bottom little screen, it shows you some, I guess, kind of tilt or tip angle. I've never drove one of these in real life, never even been in one of the cabs. But also what's really nice is if you look down there on the bottom left on the control, it has forward, neutral, reverse controls there, and then the joysticks move. So again, a nice, nice little mod. Not, not the, not super high res details, but again, nice little mod. You know, nice electric thing there. And then, so it comes with the dozer there, or um, the bulldozer accessory. So you, you can get the, the blade, and then there's a ripper right here. Just one meter though. So I mean you're not gonna do you're not gonna do some big time plowing with that. Um, but yeah. That's it. But it sounds nice. And it works. And really I, I put it down here so that it there was the impression of work being done here, down here at the dock, which there is work being done down here. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. I don't know who's going to move in to our little neighborhood. It's all, I'm kind of lonely. It's just me. All right, let's jump back in here. Now that we've digressed away from mowing. I thought I'd show you that because people... People will probably ask and they'll want to know, and I'll put a link to it. I found it at modhub.us. It was uploaded by somebody other than Thomas, so I'm assuming it's a real link. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But that's where I found it, so I'll put a link to it there. So that's pretty new. What else is new? If you don't know yet, I've said this a couple times, Nebraska Lands is out. I'm work, I've been working on my series for Nebraska Lands. I've got a lot of setup work to do for it, so I've been working on that quite a bit. And then, um, what else am I doing YouTube-wise? I'm going to be... I've been doing the Fun Friday series, and not many people have been watching those, and that's really for me <laughs> to goof off and have a good time, but I hope more people watch them. Um, I'm going to actually start showcasing free games on Friday. We'll call it Fun Free Friday or something like that. Um, I talked about that in one episode because there's so much free stuff right now. We're really, really inexpensive stuff. I mean, Epic, the Epic Game Store gives away a free game every week. Um, you get the Xbox Game Pass, which I think is only a dollar a month right now. And then there's free games on the Ubisoft launcher. Uh, there's always tons of free games on Steam. There's free games in the Microsoft Store. There's so many free games out there. 
and I wanted to start going through those and um, seeing which ones we like. More than likely, it'll probably be the Epic Game Store's free games each week because they give away a new game every week, and I only do one of those episodes a week. Um, but if more and more people like that kind of content, I will I'll focus on it a little bit more. Instead of maybe doing one game episode, we'll do two games an episode. We'll play the game, kind of look at it, give a little review. And all the games are going to be worth it because, they're, again, they're free. <laughs> even if uh, even if you just download it and play it one time, you know, just to say, oh, wow, that was different. A lot of times that's what I'm doing. Just trying them out. You never know, you might find something that sticks. I didn't know if I'd like Farm Sim until I played it on Nintendo Switch years ago, and I was like, oh, wow, this game is so fun. Then I found mods. And I was like, what? Because on the Switch, you never could do mods in 17. So then, uh, my son got a, he wanted a computer, so we got him one for Christmas a few years back, and then I bought Farm Sim for the computer, and I've been hooked ever since. Been a great game. Definitely a great game. See, this mower's perfect for us. Now, over there in the big field, like I said, I have different plans for that. The first time we'll probably just cut it with this mower, torture myself like I do. Um, it just, I don't know. I play this game as close to realistic as I can, because I really would, I don't think a sheep farm uh, this size, because it's really not a whole lot of acreage. And let's look, we can look real quick. Um, right here, I've plowed 10 heck. 10 acres. So it's, it's only a 10 acre farm. They're not going to have a 450 horsepower tractor on a 10 acre farm. They're going to have a tractor like this right here. At least I would think so. You're not going to dump hundreds of thousands of dollars into a big giant tractor when you don't need all that horsepower. Yeah, it's time consuming using mowers like this. I mean, I could get the big butterflies or the big crone and just knock this, not mowing those 10 acres out, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem like a real fit for the farm that I'm kind of creating in my head. That's the great thing about games. People can play everywhere they want. I was watching somebody's unrealistic series where they can kind of like harvest an entire field in one swath. <laughs> now, it's completely unrealistic and silly. But at the same time, it is kind of fun to watch. It's just, I, I don't know, it's just different. It's different and it's fun. And uh, I can't even remember whose series that is. I'll put a little uh, notification thing up there in the top right hand corner. Right now, if you look up there and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's an unrealistic time lapse series and I can't remember by who. Someone watching this probably already knows. But I can't remember who the, who the who the video creator was. But I will find it after recording and put it up there. See, just like that. Got a little bit, one little section here. We're done mowing. Like I said, it wasn't completely ready. Um, was it in the full last stage? mowing so we lost some yield here but I'm all out of hay I didn't want to buy a whole lot not to mention I needed to make a video so now where can we I, don't, I think we can tuck this in right over here next to the bale stack there's room in the shed right here for now definitely for now yeah that's a great little spot for it drop it there Let's hook up to our mower and see, or our baler. Let's see if we can turn the wrapper off. I'm pretty sure you can, but I could be wrong. Uh, turn it, drop. Reset bale, reset. Toggle bale wrapper on and off. 
Okay, so I can turn the bail wrapper on and off. Excellent. Oh, those are some nice animations. This is my first time using the boss bailer. Oh, wow, that's nice. I like the way it sounds. They did a really good job with this DLC. Really, really good job. PTO's vibrating. We're going to do automatic drop. That's what we'll do. Alright, excellent. Now we got to find a nice little place for this, which we'll put it over here in the shed. There's room for it. To be honest with you, that's probably the episode, folks. Probably it for this one today. I just wanted to touch base, say hi, let you know I'm still here on Beaver Creek. I've been, you know, it's been almost a week since I released any videos, but with the holidays, that stuff kind of happens. And I'd say this time of year, that stuff's going to happen. It's just going to be, there's going to be weeks where it's going to be real hard pressed um, to get enough stuff done. Yeah. That's it. Pretty sure that's. Yep, still grass. 11% moisture. So we'll have to wait for that to dry. When it dries, we'll get it bailed up. And then. Uh, so we got. I got some other projects I'll do in the meantime. I'll start probably plowing that field. I'm probably going to have to cut another load of wood because the sawmill is currently empty. But I'm, I'm going I'm to save logging until. I'm only going to do logging when everything else is done. Kind of, kind of what I want to do. I think this yielded pretty good. We should get, I don't know, quite a few bales off this, and then that other field will get a lot. Yeah, that's the plan, definitely. Well, I appreciate you guys coming by. Thank you very much for watching. Again, like I said, I hope you had a great holiday. Um, it's December. Christmas will be here before you know it. And if you're giving anybody gifts, um, you can put old Raz on your Christmas list. I can think of some stuff that I could. <laughs> Alrighty. Until next time, everybody. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. See you later.